Hello there, Sue Freeze from E. coli termite and pest control service. So you've got rats. You're probably wondering, should I take care of this myself or should I hire a professional? You could try either or. But what I've found is that people that try to do this on their own end up having more difficulties and it takes them longer to get rid of the problem than if they just picked up the phone and called a professional to take care of it. But if you do still want to try to tackle this on your own, I want to caution you to some things. The longer you wait to take care of the situation or the longer it takes you, the more damage is done. Because rats don't stop chewing, they don't stop urinating, and they don't stop leaving their droppings. So I caution you that you can learn, it is a learning curve, or you can just call a professional. But of course, the best mode of action would be to exclude, to close off any openings. And what we do is we will look for the openings that are a quarter or larger that a rat can fit through. We will close those up using quarter inch metal mesh. And we will close up any openings. Then what we need to do is it could be that we've trapped a rodent or a rat inside, like let's say the attic. So we would want to, since they're, they're closed off, they can't go anywhere we have to get those out of there. And the only way to do that is to trap them. And so that's our procedure. But we will go around the whole entire house, around the outside, around the plumbing, inside the kitchen, the bathrooms, because they can come in anywhere. You have a choice of baiting or trapping or both. The issue that you face with baiting is you want to make sure that you're not laying the bait out where your child or somebody else's child or your dog or somebody else's dog can get a hold of the bait. The other thing is when you're baiting is you want to make sure that the rat doesn't eat the bait and then die in a wall somewhere because you have no idea timing of when they got the bait and when it's actually going to take effect. And it takes about two weeks for that carcass to get eaten up by maggots. And I know that sounds really disgusting because it is. So it's really important to know where to leave the bait, when to leave the bait, do you put it in a bait box? These are all questions that you need to have the answers. If you decide to go the trapping route, there are some things to consider. The trapping situation is very inhumane because they don't die instantaneously and a lot of people don't like that. I don't like it either, but I don't like rats, so it's a choice you have to make. There are mice traps, there's rat traps, there's glue boards for mice, and there's glue boards for rodents and rats. So if you have a rat and you get mice glue boards, they're just gonna probably chew off a foot if they get stuck on it and continue on their merry way. You can always choose to do it yourself, or you can hire the professional and save yourself some money, some time, some aggravation, and less time with those rats sharing your living spaces. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.